Hello, this is Mr. Kenyanola, and I'm going to show you how to graph a circle given an equation. So, um, in the previous video, I showed you how uh, to derive the formula for a circle, and here is the formula for the circle. Uh, this R represents the radius, and if you remember, the formula was formed by using the Pythagorean theorem. And so, um, that's why we have the square plus the square equals the other square. So, um, here's R represents the radius. And this H and K represent the center. So, H and K are the center. Okay, so just remember that. This is important because the center isn't negative H. The center isn't negative K. It's just H and K. So if we just cover that, that would be the x value of the center. And this would be, k would be the y value of the center. Okay, so uh, let's look at this first example. Uh, let's figure out what the center is. So if we plug this into the formula, okay. Um, and so here's the first thing to notice. This is a plus, but the formula is a negative. Uh, so what we're going to do is write it as x minus Okay, because the form is a, a minus right there. And to get that pot, this plus 2, we're going to write negative 2 squared. This is going to help us because two negatives make a positive. So that actually the, our h is uh, negative 2, okay, because it's the form is x minus, okay? And then the two negatives make a positive. So there's that. And then here... Okay, and remember, we just take away one, we ignore the negative, and the y value would be positive 1. So this right here, negative 2, 1, is our center, okay? And then our radius, remember the formula is radius squared, okay? But we just want r, so if we did this, so this 9 is equal to r squared. So the opposite of squaring something would be square rooting, so our radius would just be three okay so this is our center negative two one and three is our radius okay so the biggest thing is when you have a plus okay write it as x minus okay and then uh, to get that formula so our center is at negative two so remember, this is our x value for the center and and the y value is 1, so we'll go negative 2 to the left and up 1. And our radius is 3. That means that every point on the circle is 3 units away from the center. So we're going to take our compass. And so here's the metal part, which will represent the center. Don't push too hard because that'll hurt. And then uh, we're going to open up our compass so that it's three units. So this from here to here represents our radius. Okay. And it's a little easier to rotate the paper instead of rotating the compass. So I'm going to rotate the paper. Um, and it's still a little challenging, especially if it moved at the beginning. So then rotate, rotate, rotate. And there you go. So it's, yeah, you know, my compass was a little off, moved a little, but um, if you look at it, here's our center, negative two, one, and our radius is three. So this is, it should have gone a little higher, but this is three units away from the center. This is three units away from the center. Three units, three units, and if we kept on going, all of these radii would be three units away. So that's how you graph this equation. Let me give you another example. Whoa, so um, let's rewrite that formula. Oops, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. So again, um, pay attention to those negatives right there. Okay, so um, our center is, we'll ignore that x minus, so our center is just 1. Comma. Now, if you notice here, there isn't any number next to that y. So that means if there's nothing, what's the what's the value that represents nothing? Well, that's zero. So this is our center. And to get our radius, okay, this four represents r squared. So we'll just set r squared is equal to four. 
and we'll square root both sides. And so R is equal to two. So here's our center. Here's our radius equals two. So let's just plot it. Okay, so one, zero. This one is um, our, our horizontal shift from the origin. So we're going to go right one. And this says, don't, don't shift at all. So this is our center right here. And then we'll take our compass and open the radius. Okay, so we're going to put this melt part right here, which is the sensor on our sensor. And we're going to open the radius so that it's two units. So from here to here is two units. And then let's see if I can draw a better circle than in the previous example. So let's rotate that piece of paper. Rotate. And hey, look at that. So that looks better. So... Uh, this is two units, the radius there, two units, two units, two units, and all of these distances would be two units, the radius two. So there's the second example, and here is the third and final example on how to graph a circle. So x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to the radius squared. Okay, so we're going to ignore the x minus, so our center would be 3, comma. Now, if you look at this, there is no minus, so we're going to create that minus by writing y minus negative 2 squared. Okay, this is the same thing, two negatives make a positive, and we'll ignore that y minus, and this will be our y value for the center, so 3, negative 2. And to get our radius, we'll just write r squared is equal to 16 we'll square root both sides so r is equal to four so there's our radius there's our center so let's find three negative two so we'll start off at the origin zero zero we will shift to the right three units one two three and we will shift down two units so one two so this is our center three negative two let's actually label it three negative two and our radius is four because we square rooted that 16 so we're going to put the metal part of our compass there and we're going to open up our compass to be four units wide two three and there's four so from the center one, two, three, four units. And sometimes it's a little easier instead of rotating the compass to rotate the piece of paper that it's sitting on. And we will rotate it. And hopefully it doesn't wiggle around too much. And there you go. So uh, that's about four units, four units. You can even take your compass and go four units there, four units, four units all the way around. So. That is how you graph a circle given the equation. Hope that helps. Have a nice day.